This is Artifacts and Wars. I wanted to go over quickly how you can uh, tell uh, the difference between Islamic terrorism and nut jobs uh, doing things. You see, you're not going to get truth out of the media in a case like uh, this horror in San Dino. You just will not get the truth out of it. Uh, B.I. itches for the most part. Uh, you know, on the radio they're saying, oh, we still don't know what motive was. And that is utter, utter nonsense. Uh, so here we go. Let's say some whack job takes a gun and does something. Alright. So, whack job does this. That's coming out of the press's mouth. White Christian, white Christian, white Christian. It's Christian terrorism. It doesn't take them minutes to decide this. Not even minutes. Actually, this one's actually being blamed on white Christians, if you can believe it. Unbelievable. Just some idiot on the internet. Anyway, uh... So, that's the first thing you hear. White Christians, conservative. It takes some minutes to decide this. However, when you have a shooting like this, we... You know, days later, it's we still don't know what motive was. You see what the difference is? They do so know what mo motive was. Motive is Islamic terrorism. These are Islamic soldiers who attacked. It's as simple as that. Uh, that's number one. As you can tell by the reaction of the press. If they say, we don't know what motive was, odds are it was Muslims. Islamic terrorism. Uh, number two is, check the names. Sayed Rizwan Farouk and Tashfin Malik. That isn't necessarily... Uh, the that isn't necessarily an indication, but ninety nine percent of the time it will be. So in San Bernard Bernardino they attacked and they killed fourteen people. This was a planned thing. That's number three. See, your average wacko out there may go out and kill people, but they don't really go in with a battle plan. You don't have two or more people going in with a battle plan, planning to massacre people like uh, these two scumbags did. You just don't have that. Yeah, there are wackos out there, obviously so. But, uh... You don't have them, they don't come up with these sophisticated plans. This is my point. The Islamic terrorists do. Islamic soldiers, uh, Islamic jihadists. You know, it's funny, this is a UK site, and they're saying it's Islamic terrorism, but uh, our own media is saying we don't know what the motive was. Give me a royal break. Yeah, just use a little common sense is what I'm saying. Who are they? Why did they do what they did? Well, just look at who they were and go from there. These are, uh... 
this dirtbag had a Saudi wife. He went to Saudi Arabia for a wife, and then they decided to uh, go kill people. They're ISIS in all likelihood. But like I said, it's being blamed on you and I. It's being blamed on the white, Christian, or in my case, agnostic gun owner. That agnostic designation could be changing. I don't know. Uh, at any rate, they're going after the white Christian gun owners. We're blamed. We've already been blamed for this one, even though it was radical Muslim soldiers that did the actual crime. We're all. We've already been. We've already been blamed by the media and blamed by Obama, and blamed on chat groups. Uh, so there's no way to win. I mean, we're gonna be blamed, even though we had nothing to do with it. Even though it's Obama who's letting the scumbags in that are going to do this kind of thing. You think this is bad? Just wait. I got news for you folks. Uh, it's going to get much, much worse. I uh, am on a story. I haven't done it yet. About uh, supposedly... And Warroom.com, the War Room show that I listened to with Jim Quinn. Supposedly Obama's bringing in Syrians in the middle of the night on UPS cargo planes. I made a call to him and said, you know, why are you bringing Syrians in on planes? And of course they ignored me. So far at least. So, this is only going to get worse. It's going to get much worse quickly. Get out, buy guns, you're going to need them. This country is under attack. Europe is under attack, and it's because your leaders have sold you out. I should say your misleaders have sold you out. There's nothing but traitors anymore uh, in the most important place, in the government. You're in trouble, folks, big time. If you don't have a gun, get out and buy one and get ready. Because you're going to need it. They are not going to protect you like Obama is counting on this stuff. Because I don't think he wants to uh, leave office. I've said that all along. We'll have to wait and see. I could be completely wrong. He could be terminated out. But I seriously doubt it. These people want to stay in power. Like Alex Jones says, they are international criminals. Oh, uh, here's another thing to tell. Uh, whenever there's a wacko that uh, does one of these things, Wacko's always shown looking like a wacko. Whenever it's Muslims that do this, they always show them as normal people, right, never did anything wrong, can't understand why this happened, so on and so forth. They're always uh, portrayed as the boy next door or the girl next door or whatever. That's how they're always per portrayed. Do you see that? you can pretty much expect that they're Muslims. I've been looking at the patterns with these people. That's what they do. They, you know, they paint the guy. Well, here's a line from this article I have up here. Those who knew Farouk among him and his colleagues in San Bernardino County, County Public Health Department described him as a devout Muslim, but not someone who often talked about religion. He never struck me as a fanatic. He never struck me as suspicious, said Griselda Reisinger, a former colleague. 
co-worker Patrick Bakari, who shot a cubicle with fruit, told the Los Angeles Times he and his young family appeared to be living the American dream. That's basically what I mean right there. They're portraying him as just a normal guy, and they can't understand why he suddenly went berserk along with his wife. Can anyone say ISIS? At any rate, that's how you tell the difference. The recap, well, if they say it's, you know, the normal, normal people can't understand what's going on, we don't have motive, you know, the names are Middle Eastern, you know, Muhammad or whatever, you can pretty much expect that they were Islamic soldiers. Just common sense stuff. Media is lying constantly now, so there's no way to tell when they're telling. If they do tell the truth, there's no way to tell. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.